leading conservation and environmental education nonprofit is seeking applications for the conservation and leadership development program. And joining us this morning is Kavika Riley, Kupu's VP, Vice President of External Affairs. Aloha, thanks for joining us and sharing all the for details. Us. All right, so for those who don't know, what is Kupu? What is the conservation leadership program? Yeah, so uh, Kupu is a youth focused conservation and sustainability nonprofit uh, founded here in Hawaii, working in Hawaii and other parts of the Pacific, really looking to help people start and grow careers in fields like conservation and other professions that give back to the environment. That's really, really important. And we're going to dive a little bit deeper into that. So is this opportunity for all islands? What's an example of maybe a host site where they can get involved that one might get stationed at? There's a few different ones. Yeah, so the, the opportunity we're talking about this morning is within our Conservation Leaders Program. Uh, we have positions across the archipelago. I think the four primary areas, Kauai, here in Oahu, Maui, and then my home island of Hawaii Island, uh, a variety of positions that all can help people, like I said, start their careers, grow their careers in fields that give back to the aina. That's really important. And any age group can really join high school. College. 17 and up. Nice. Um, our sweet spot tends to be kind of late teenager, early 20s. Um, but really, it's an opportunity available to anybody who has that heart for service, as long as they're at least 17 by the time they start. Mm -hmm. And then how long does this opportunity and program last for? And we'll, we'll call it maybe just the CLDP, short for the Conservation Perfect. Leadership Development Program. So how long does the CLDP, particip that participant program, you know, last for? When will they receive their, their service? So generally speaking, uh, positions, and I think this tends to work best too, are just a little bit under a year. Mm -hmm. uh, these are paid positions. We want somebody with that heart for service, but we're not asking them to volunteer. We want to help them start their career, and we're going to pay them for it from day one moving forward. Uh, so 11 months, uh, that tends to be the term. For folks that are looking for something a little bit shorter, we do have some positions that are about half a year or seasonal, but a year tends to work best for everybody. Nice, and could they stay longer than a year if they wanted to? Yeah, folks can uh, re-up or do an extended term. What is ideal for us and what often is uh, the situation that ends up working out is the folks come through Kupu, they get that initial experience, they get that initial exposure, um, they also show their value and their growth with the host site that they're placed with. So oftentimes after you finish with that first Kupu term, instead of staying with us for a second term, you get hired for a full-time job, a promotion, something like that, often at your own host site, and then your career grows from there. That's amazing, very flexible, and yeah. of course, if you have a heart for service and sustainability, this is a great opportunity with Kupu. Where can we find more information then, Kavika? Uh, folks can find more information, um, and they can apply by visiting our website, www.kupuhawaii.org. Our priority deadline is September 13th, so that's the best time to apply at or before if you wanna have the best chance at one of these positions. Let's do it, September 13th, guys. We'll have this, on, of course, on kh12.com, and then we'll have your website as well so they can apply. Yeah. Thank you so much, Kavika, for joining us today. Thank you, Brittany.